Today, we're with Animal Control, and we're talking with Derek and Shannon, and we might even get to see them in action. A lot of people don't understand what Animal Control does for the county. So what kind of role do you guys play? We enforce all the state and county laws um, that pertain to domestic animals in Queen Anne's County. Um, anything from cruelty and neglect cases to uh, licensing issues, if, if people don't have their animals licensed, any of that kind of stuff. Um, and even nuisance complaints for neighbors that have issues with other neighbors' dogs barking and stuff like that. Two total officers for the whole county. Right. Um, we have a couple of vehicles. Um, this is my truck. We just recently upgraded the box on the back. Um, we can carry multiple animals in it now, which is very practical. It works really well for us, and it's it's going pretty well. So what's the wildest thing that you've ever had to report on? The wildest thing? Oh, my goodness. Um, I've had some hoarding cases. There's no real one case. Um, sometimes I think I've seen it all and then somebody else out does it. So I started 15 years ago um, and probably one of my first real cases was a hoarding case um, right a little bit outside of Centerville um, and she had over 80 cats in her house. <laughs> um, a majority of them were sick but we were able to help her and um, get her back to a good number to where she could manage. So we got a call? We did. Where are we headed? Uh, we're heading right outside of Queenstown, um, off of Route 50. So what was the call? Um, we got a report from a caretaker of a property that there's a cat um, that's in pretty bad shape. I'm not sure if it was injured or if it's just got some sickness going on. Uh, but it, apparently it's in really bad shape, like skinny. So we're gonna go out and try to find it. Um, the property owner is not there at the moment, um, but he did give us permission to go ahead and go on the property to see if we can find it. Come here. Come here. Don't mind the guy with the camera. One kitty cat down. <laughs> After a successful patrol, we headed back to the Animal Welfare League to end our day. We are happy to report that thanks to the amazing staff at the AWL, Daryl's health seems to be improving and outside of a slight tummy ache, is hoping to be on the adoption floor very soon.